This is Senior Pastor Larry McCord, pastor of New Birth Christian Ministries, Incorporated, located on Long Island, New York, reaching out to you wherever you may hear the sound of my voice, sending out the Word of God. I know many of you are troubled today, but you don't need to be afraid because you're God's property. And he said, no weapon formed against you will prosper. This is taken from Isaiah 54, verse 17. The only thing you can rely on is the word of God. Tune in and listen to New Birth Christian Ministries on YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you. Greetings in the name of Jesus. This is the Black History Month poem. God created man in his own image, says the word of, the, of he who created heaven, says the word in Genesis 127. Am I not a creation of God and a, represent, a representation of he who created heaven? Then why should I struggle to fit in the, into this world that he also created to be cursed, misused, looked over, and otherwise berated. There were others before me who strove for our deserved freedom, who knew, like you and me, that the color of our skin would not keep us out of the kingdom. And of course, there will continue to be the generations in the generations to come. Those who, who know that God's love is meant to be for everyone. And also, sadly, they will continue to rise up out of the earth. Those full of hatred, those who would burn down and destroy God's church. Here are some examples of some great people who have paved the way. With God's help and their sacrifices, they gave us a brighter future and a better day. There was Mega Evans, a great leader for civil rights as the NAACP field secretary. Registering Black folks to vote was where he set his sights. And because freedom and equality for all people, regardless of color, he did espouse he was shot dead by a sniper, by a sniper's bullet right in front of his own house. And of course, Rosa Parks, she didn't just sit on a bus. She was the mother of a movement that opened doors for us. And the irony of it all is very fitting. She was simply through with the oppression. So she took a stand by sitting. Now, Dr. Reverend. Martin Luther King Jr. He was a visionary. He had a vision of the world, of a world that was not contrary. The crimes, not only that he was murdered and taken away, but what, grieve, what a grievous crime it will be if we don't get what he had to say. He had a dream that may speak of another place in time. See, he'd been to the mountaintop and seen what was sublime. If we cast away our hatred and look to the Lord, we could live in peace and be on one accord. I say, give up hating. Let's love each other more. And then we will reap the benefits of what God has in store. Let's not forget some of the heroes of the 19th century birth, who had added to our history an undeniable worth. Frederick Douglass was the son of a slave and an anonymous white man. He was an abolitionist leader who stressed education to accomplish everything you can. Harriet Tubman, called the Moses of her people, was a runaway slave. She was a spy and an abolitionist with her un underground railroad to many freedom she gave. And founding member 
of the NAACP, W.E.B. Dubois, a writer, public speaker, and Drake was also an activist who played a great role in shaping Black and white relationship in America. These are colored, Negro, Black, African Americans whom we should look up to and admire. When we set our goals for achievement to these great heights we should aspire, let us use this month to not only remember those who brought us where we are, but to make sure that their work continues because we still have roads to travel far. And while we travel and make great strides towards a, towards a better life, let us keep up the promise in our hearts our, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. As you walk down the dark roads of prejudice that our forefathers tried, don't be fearful and faint. Instead, put faith in God. Don't be fearful and faint. Put your faith in God. We need to lean and support, not fight with each other. There are too many forces trying to destroy your sister and your brother. And while others are focused on the spell of uh, on the smell of corruption, be encouraged by God and his word and avoid the destruction. Be encouraged by God and his word and avoid the destruction. Amen. This is Pastor Larry McCord. Thank you for attending our services here at Newburgh. We appreciate your contribution and support. Please visit us here in person as well as on Zoom. May the blessings of the Lord go with you and go in peace.